welcome. This online session is one of a series of mindfulness explorations of artwork and objects held in the collection of Shrewsbury Museum and Art Gallery. As part of the Slow Art Movement, we are going to invest some time in pausing in our busy lives to look, to breathe and to be curious. In this session, we're going to take a look at a late 20th century painting by John Farrington. This acrylic painting is displayed on the stairwell walls in Shrewsbury Museum and Art Gallery and may be one that, if you'd visited, you may just have missed. The painting is called House of Birds and was painted in the early 1990s. Before we begin, just check that you are somewhere comfortable, preferably sitting with your feet flat on the floor. Start to be aware of how your body is feeling from the top of your head to your toes. Notice any areas of tension and try to gently release that tension. Take a deep breath in and breathe out slowly. As you breathe in and out, become aware of the stream of thoughts that may be in your mind. Acknowledge those thoughts don't try to block them out, but let them just leave gently. As we look at the painting, try to stay in the moment. Let intrusive thoughts about the past ebb away. Quiet your mind of thoughts about the future. Return your thoughts to the painting and to this moment. Where does the artist John Farrington take us in his painting? As your eyes travel across the artwork, notice how he encourages you to take flight with the birds as they rise from the bottom of the painting, soaring up to the top. What do you notice in the painting? The house in the centre is surrounded almost like an embrace by a dry stone wall. We can see some unusual perspective, as if looking at the house from several different angles. Someone is standing by a gap in the wall. Are they arriving, leaving, or are they waiting? Take a look at the hills behind the house. They look like they are glowing in that warm, rich, burnt orange colour. Does this give us a clue as to the time of day this might be? A sunrise or a sunset maybe? Have you ever walked in a landscape like this? How do those memories make you feel? When John Farrington left school, he went to work on a farm in Wales, an experience that has influenced his work. Could this be a Welsh farmstead that he saw in his younger days? Now, the colour of the sky is interesting, as it is such a deep, almost marine blue. In fact, is this the sky or the sea beyond? Are those doves or are they seagulls? The birds create movement and patterns as they fly through the air. What sounds can you hear? The artist describes how he makes many drawings to work out his initial ideas and then concentrates on applying and building up the images with paint. As the painting evolves, so does the story he is telling. So what story would you come up with for this painting? Return your focus to the three birds in the foreground of the painting, their luminescent white feathers reflecting the light. Take a breath in and slowly breathe out. Thank you for taking time to look at John Farrington's painting of the House of Birds. Take this moment with you into your day. <laughs>